What is up guys? Welcome back to the Pixelmon versus series. This is the scene of destruction last episode. If you guys want to hop on the Pokey Saga server where we're playing, uh, there's instructions down below in the description as well as the IP. Also, I have got one of the top ranks to give away to one of you guys, the Omega rank. So if you play on the server, just throw your IGN in the chat and one lucky person will be given the top rank on the server. So yes, indeed, this is where I battled Rob in our kind of like intermission, our sparring phase, and we absolutely slapped him silly. And uh, as a result, I, you know, I was looking good, feeling good, and I said, you know what, Arceus, the god of all Pokemon, I'll drop him from the squad. I'll throw him in my box too, and I'll get someone else. And uh, a lot of you guys were giving me tips and advice. One thing that we're going to do straight away is uh, warp tutors. And uh, yeah, I, I, I completely forgot something. Yo, is that... Can I capture that? Is that like a... No, it's just an Articuno chilling. Um, one thing you instantly told me to do, which makes so much sense, I completely forgot about stab bonus. Same type attack bonus, which means I really do want Dragon Claw um, on this guy. You know what? I think I will take it over, over Thunderfang, really. And then I've got that as just, you know, something that I can utilize that is going to do an extra, I think, 50% damage because it's the same type. And now we need to pick up another Pokemon for the squad. So, Warp Safari is the place to go. And, uh, you know, we can even, uh, we can even use our Master Ball for, for this right here. Because, oh, we've got tons of them. We actually need to get all of our, uh, you know what, let's get all of our goodies as well. Um, let's do slash kits. Alright, let's grab all of these in the house. What do we want? We want, we want a bit of this. Okay, now we have to use these at spawn. So, let's uh, also grab all of our kits right here. Get ourselves those extra rare candies in the house. We also want to get some extra TMs and goodies. So let's get all of this right here right now. And then we want the... Where is it? Here we go. Got our Poke Snacks. Get our tokens. Get... Oh, we don't need a Guidebooks kit. Don't need a Spawner kit. No, there we go. We've got, we've got the things that we need right here. So PV1 is where these... PV1 is where these go. Look at that. Rare candies for days. We have, like, enough to get... To like max level, so I don't know what we're gonna do with all of that. I mean, we'll redeem these Pokeballs, but you really don't need them. I wonder actually if I could like sell all these Pokeballs actually. Um, let's see what shop because that could be a hustle and a half. Okay, actually, you know, we're not, we're not selling our Pokeballs, we'll stow those away. We've got tutor tokens, they're, they're huge, and let's also open up these uh, TM tokens. There we go. What do we get? We got ourselves. Foul play. We got ourselves Hex. I don't even know what that does. We got ourselves Brutal Swing again. This is this is on you guys to let me know if any of these moves are really fire. We've got random TM vouchers here. We got Willow Wisp. I think that's decent. We got ourselves Calm Mind. And we got ourselves Swords Dance. Oh my goodness. I think everyone was saying I need Swords Dance on my Excadrill, which you may actually just be able to learn from a move relearner, I think, actually. Um, but that would be very, very good on him. Okay, so now we can go and look for that extra Pokemon that we need. So Warp, Safari. So a lot of you guys said that I'm missing a Water Pokemon. And obviously Rob's going to reformat his team this episode. I think that's what he's doing because he realizes he's down bad. Um, but a lot of you guys suggested Froakie. <laughs> Um, which is the, uh, which is a really good quick water starter. This guy's just vibing with his, with his Gyarados. So we need to find one of those. I mean, I would also, you know, I would take a for alligator if I saw one. A lot of you guys said Lapras could be a vibe. But, um, yeah, we need a strong water Pokemon. So that's what we're looking for around for. See, like a level 45 Totodile. It could be a vibe. Mudkip. Um, what is it? Mudkip evolves into... Mudkip evolves into Swampert. Yeah, Swampert's um, Earth and Water type, so he's he's pretty good. We might try and capture this Totodile. Just just see see if he's a good nature or anything. All right, so we don't want to kill this actually. Let's you know let's just put it to sleep and let's let's use some. You know, actually, honestly, we got Master Balls for days. So let's just catch him with the Master Ball, whatever. Like we 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 this is this is our last Pokemon of the team. Apparently Rob had Fight TMZ but didn't use it. Look, that sounds like a him problem. Like, even people in the chat are, are, are trolling him. So hey, Master Ball used. Let's see, let's see. Stats. He is boosted defense, reduced special defense. So he'll be really tanky. I mean, it's, it's an option. It's an option for sure. Obviously, like, could also be a vibe, like, just to go into the wild and, like, try and find something really, really good. But 
I don't know. Let me see, actually. So let's do our homework. Um, where does Froki spawn in Pixelmon? He spawns in swamps. Okay. So what have we got here? We've got flower forest, so swamp, swamp plant. So yeah, he could spawn in here. I think we might have seen one. This is jungle. Okay, so really it's got to be in this water that we find them. Also, we're looking for bosses to battle to get better items. You're not a boss. You're... Oh, there we go. Here we go. All right. So you know what? I'm not using them in the fight, but I'll tell you what. I'll use my Arceus to uh, to farm up some bosses. That's what we'll do for sure. We can should be able just to one hit this Bagon. Bang. Look at that. A lucky egg. Lucky egg increases XP gains by 20% on a Pokemon, I believe. Which is, like, kind of cool. Let's see. Let me just check that. Lucky egg picks them on. Uh, yeah, Pokemon holding it to gain 50% more XP after battle. So that will be good for power leveling. This Froakie if I get one. Alright, back to the search. Oh, here we go. Legendary Roganarola boss. I've not been able to find any Froakies here. I may have to actually go out into the wild. Right, let's see. Oh my goodness, we just... Mate, mate fight, fly, fly the MZ. Oh my goodness, yo. That's got to go on the uh, on the Salamence because it will transform his fly move to something nutty. Whoa, that is crazy. Let's let's just let's just test it out to scale. Here we go. Let's see what we get. We get we get Z power supersonic sky strike. Are you mad? Yes, doves. Oh my goodness, that is legitness, mate. What is that? That is a Pokemon and a half. Yeah, we we we're taking doves on these item pickups right now. You love to see it. Okay, so we've actually been given some incense right here that increases the amount of Pokemon spawns around you for 15 minutes and it can do an eight times multiply. So what I want to do is I want to go to where the Froki spawn and try and use that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to spawn. I'm going to do RTP biome. Okay, so we're going to do BRTP. We are going to go to a swamp land right here. I'm going to test this out because, you know, Pokemon don't spawn that much in uh, the main biome. So let's see. Let's, let's test one of these out. All right. Bang. There we go. You activate an incense. Pokemon spawns near you will be multiplied by eight times for 15 minutes. So let's just go around a little bit and see. Aha. Now we got stuff spawning. Oh, wait. Is it because it's nighttime? Is that going to make it... Is that going to make it less likely for them to spawn? Probably. Let me see. Froki. Um... Okay, he's an ultra rare spawn in a swamp. That's not good. Wait. Damn it, okay. We just have to we have to just zoom around and hope for the best, I think. Got some Gligars, Gold Bats. Frogadier as well is, is, is him as well. Like is he gonna spawn in the water? I'm not sure. Okay, morning's coming up, which is when I think they should be spawning a little more. Um, a little more likely, so let's just hope for the best. Let's keep zooming around. See if we can get one in here, in the house. Now, if we can't get a Froakie, we'll have to probably... I think I think maybe we would settle for a Feraligator. I think that would be a good call. Ooh, we found a Pokey Loop. That's, that's, that's exciting. Ooh, a Bug Gem. So that will make Bug moves more powerful. Actually, do I also have a Dragon Gem? Did I imagine that? I do have a dragon gem, actually. Uh, and that makes dragon moves more powerful. Increases the power of the holder's first dragon type move by 50%. Damn, but I don't think I have anyone else that has flying moves, so... That's a shame. Look how many Pokemons I'm spawning in, but no Froakies. I'm afraid. Which is a shame. But yeah. The, uh, the, the the incense is doing bits here. Spawning lots of things. It's not what we need yet. Alrighty. We have found ourselves another boss. You know how we do. Hit him with a one bang. Power anklet. What does a power anklet do? Let's see. Ah, a power anklet increases the, uh, the, the, the EV gains on a Pokemon, but we're not really, we're not really spamming EV training. There is actually an area where you can warp and do it on the server, but we said we're not going to be doing that because it's just, it's a little repetitive, which could kind of let in the EVs and the IVs be kind of random here. 
Another boss, another kill. Just farming up items. Oh wait, that wasn't the boss. This is the boss. Oh wait, that's not very good. Um. Okay, let's see what Salamance can do with that. With that. Oh wait, he can't use his Z power. Whatever. You'll you'll just you'll just kill him with your. There we go. Let's let's use this dragon claw. There we go. Bang. Boom. Throat spray. I don't even know if that's useful. Let's see what that does. Okay, it's more of like a using battle type item, so not not particularly useful for us right now. Ah, oh, this is pain. I want that Froakie, but he just does not seem to be spawning. Unfortunately for us. Okay, maybe we look for a Swamper, actually. I think he would be a little better. You know what? We should we should we should have captured that marsh when we saw it. But yeah, I think he'd do it a little bit better than Alligator based on a very, very brief Google search. There's another Totodile. Come on. Oh, there's that squirrel. That is a little squirrel. Squirrel. Alright. Let's try and let's try and capture this Totodile. Alright. Let's go for it. In fact, you know, actually, again. Let's just use a master ball, whatever. We're, we're in the end game now. Okay, that Terodile's getting caught. So is this one. Ah, oh, there we go. A mud kit. Perfect. This is what we wanted. Got one minute left on the incense, but that doesn't matter because you have given me what I need. Mud kit. Stop it. This guy don't care. Someone's going to steal my master balls. Oi. Here we go. All right, we got him. Bang, that's the mudkip in the house. Yeah, I mean, we got. I, I guess Froakie just doesn't spawn here. It's just, or it's just too rare. But let's see if any of those few that we just caught are gangsters. So let's see. We got this Totodile. He is boosted defense. Don't really care. See this one. That's just kind of neutral. So these people gave to me, so I'm not using any of those. Um, wait, where is the... There's the mud kit. Let's see, stats. Boosted attack, which is actually what you want, I think. And then drop special defense, which isn't the end of the world. So I think, maybe, we just roll... There we go, incense and six fire. So we didn't get a Froakie, unfortunately. So no Greninja for us. But we, uh, we, we have the Swamper, which is fine. And what I can do, so I can get him leveled up a decent little bit. There was another Totodile there, but not interested. Wait, what are you? You're a Whooper. You're not interested in you. So what we want to do is we want to grab the Mudkip. And now let's put the Mudkip into the squad. Put the Lucky Egg on him. And let's get some quick kills with the boy. And then we will be set. So let's see, what are you going to be able to kill? Let's just get some quick kills. He came through with the moves. Wait, why did why? Oh no, he's super effective. There we go. Oh, we got a boss in the house. I don't think Mudkip's gonna be able to kill this, but we'll try it. Oh. Oh no. No, I want him to get the XP. Wait, let's see if we can run. Here we go. Let me poke you here. Let me send out the Mudkip. And then now we let me switch to Salamence. He should be able to get the kill here. Zed power, supersonic strike. It wasn't very effective, but it still did a decent little bit. All right, let's see. Dragon Claw. That's, 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 that's nice damage. And he holds on and gets the kill. There we go. Mudkip levels up. I don't really know what I'm dead with. Ooh. An Asper Barrier. And there we go. Mudkip is evolving. Let's see it. So there we go. We got a Marsh Tomp. He's got Mud Shot. I guess, I guess we'll take it over Water Gun. Alright. And now let's level up this Marsh Tomp again. To get him really living good. Aha, we got ourselves another boss. And another one. Bang, bang. Got some more berries. What? Marsh Top is evolving? Yeah, Marsh Top looks derpy. But then, when he evolves, you're looking less derpy. There it is. Swampert actually looked pretty, pretty sick. I can't lie. Alright, we got a Swampert in the house. We go on the PC and look at him. That's 
Look at that. Yeah, he has high attack. We take that. We take that for the squad. Perfecto. So I guess I just power level him a couple of them. I mean, we've got so many candies there. Right, this guy's just going to one-hit KO things. All right, so now we've got our, mark, our Swampert. Let's go to Spawn. Let's go Warp Tutors. And let's see what levels we can teach him. Uh, what moves we can teach him. That looks like it could be a good move there. But, you know, actually, you guys can let me know. I can do this ahead of the next episode. So let me know if you think that we should replace Hydro Pump with Aquatail. I think we should on this Swampert. So, yeah, we replace that with Aquatail. And then... I don't know, maybe, maybe get something else instead of Rock Throw. A lot of people are actually, well, a lot of the guys are saying actually um, that Mud Bomb is quite good. Because it's ground type. I mean, Rock Slide actually is also a good move. I know I don't do a great job of this, but actually I think I take Rock Slide over Rock Throw. 50, 90, 75, 90, yeah. It's just more powerful. Yeah, so we take that. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking on that front. Do I have any good TMs? So these are my TMs for you guys to check, so... Blizzard, we got... Okay, let me let me go through an order. So we got Scald, Dive, Sandstorm, Aerial Ace, Ally Switch, Attract, Shadow Claw, Poison Jab, Sludge Wave, Hone Claws, Water Gun, Metronome, Hex, Blizzard, Grass Knot, Rain Dance, Zap Cannon, Psych Up, Energy Ball, Brutal Swing, Steel Wing, Light Screen, Foul Play, Self Disrupt, Telekinesis, Whirlpool, Willow Wisp, Calm Mind, Flame Orb, there, Swords Dance. Actually, the Flame Orb, should that... That should probably be... That should probably be on Incineroar. Let's see what moves we've got. We've got Fire Fang on him. And Flamethrower. That doesn't seem that useful. Okay, no, I thought that was better than it is. Flame Orb's not very useful. Put that back in. I also need to know what to do with these berries. Um, the Power Anklet's not particularly useful right now. We're not that interested in that. Dive? Dive, that's good. Power 80... Accuracy 100% physical, so maybe we take that instead of Hydro Pump. Um, that's another option, but yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys kind of work out what I should do with all these TMs, where I should place them, but that seems pretty good to me. Um, in terms of items, you said that I need Life Orb on someone. Uh, a bit hard-hitting, so that's why I thought Incineroar is good. The Choice Band, that increases speed. I don't know if that's actually that useful on anyone. Maybe I would put that on the, the Swampert, who actually I'm going to go and power level a little bit now. Um, the Dragon Gem, I want to put it on Salamence, but actually I think the Fly Enium Z is going to be better. We've got the Ground Enium Z on the Excadrill. Focus Sash, sure. I think that just keeps him alive. Probably put another Focus Sash on the Mamo Swine. And yeah, this is all looking, looking quite nice to me. We do have a Bug Gem, a Dragon Gem. And this Choice Band, maybe we'll put that on the Marsh Tomp when he's leveled up. We'll see, but yeah, let me know, guys. And now let's go and do some more power up and see if we can find some more bosses just to get any other cool items. Here we go. Here's Robbie boy. There he is. Oh, man. Hey. Bro. Yo, nice yeah. necklace, bro. My guy's swagging. Hey, Vic, I'm going to be honest, dude. I don't know. Like, it was such a hustle, but check people what I got. I'm going to be real with you. Actually, don't look. Don't look. Oh, shit. Ooh, Shoot. Okay. Okay. Dude, do you have any idea how hard I had to hustle for this guy? Because I... I have, is he in the safari? If he is, I'm going to freak out. Uh, what does he evolve from? Torchic. Yes, I have seen Torchic's in the safari before. Oh my god. But, but if it's any consolation, if it's any consolation, I spent a load of my episode looking for a Pokemon that I didn't find that was a rare starter, so. Oh, okay. So yeah. I've not been mad productive today. I've benched my, uh, my, my Arceus, and Dude, now I'm just know, leveling man. up my I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about it. Yeah. I feel bad. It's not going to be the same if I beat you without Well, you know what? Yet. We can do a lot of battles next episode. So we can yeah. do it with our rare candies. We can do level sets. You want to beat me? You want to beat me? Without the Arceus. Without the Arceus. Yeah. yeah. That's like the ultimate flex. If you can beat me without the Arceus, you're kind of just like, where, where are you at? Where, where are you, you at, at though? I, yeah. I, and I'll I be believe. like, uh, I'll be like, I don't know. I'm, I ain't here. That's where I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gone. Okay, I haven't seen Torchic anywhere in the Safari, but maybe I have, and I just like missed him in the last episodes. Oh. Yeah, all of a sudden Rob's on the lookout. I'm just going for Oh my, oh feet. my, oh my goodness. I can't believe this, bro. Wow. What? Literally just found one. I spent like half an hour earlier looking. Oh my god, dude. Where? What does it even look like? What is it? A Froakie. Yeah. Oh my! Imagine you just came through and stole it, bro. I'm the snack, this boy. 
Yeah, where we, is it at? Where is, he's you know, in my Pokeball. That's where he's at, where brother. At? <laughs> Safe and sound. <laughs> Safe where and sound. All right, well, yeah. I'm going to go level up my new Pokemon. Well, you know what it is, so I know what you got. You're going to know what I got. Frogia? Dude, what is it? Can you send it out? I'm kind of curious what it is. It's a frog, brother. It's, oh, it's a frog. Okay. It's a frog, brother. Are you getting it for memes or what? Who knows? Who knows? Wouldn't you like to know? All right. Good luck, my friend. I would there. like to know. Okay, bye. Yes! Froggy, froggy. Let's go, froggy. Alright, so now it's just, uh... Right, so now we're just going to power level Excadrill and Froggy all at the same time. So I think I should be able to one-hit kill these guys with the old Tectonic Raid. There we go. Beautiful. All right, let's just, uh, I'm, I'm trying to think where it's going to be most effective. Um, <laughs> there's a level 41 Torchic. It's paying for Rob. <laughs> oh, the boy's down bad. He's just trying to make a comeback, but not that easy. Oh, why don't you dig? Oh, well, whatever. Right, we're just going to spam level up this froaky boy. Here we go. He's evolving. He's leveling up. Oh, I'm kind of annoyed I, I got the, uh, the mud kit, but hey, you know, we've got options. And I think he's got a decent nature, this, this Froakie has. He's got boosted special attack, which is what I think you want. Look at this little ninja looking dude. Dude, he looks evil. Froggadier, evil can evil. Let's see, let's see stats. Yeah, his special attack is better. So I think he's going to be a glass cannon as heck with the lower defense. That's probably not what we want. But, I mean, the idea is that he's, he's fast and dangerous. This man's woke up feeling dangerous, you know. So we'll just keep getting him that, that XP. Okay, so we've got the Greninja to level 39. Let's go to spawn. Let's warp tutors. Get some good moves on him, and then we can put the Lucky Egg on him and just power level him like 10 levels up here. Should be chilling. So Greninja, what do we want? So we want special type moves. Mm. See, actually, um, we'll take Night Slash over Fling. But actually, we're going to need to use um, probably some TMs on him to get him the moves that he wants. Let's see what Smogon says. So yeah, it says we want Surf on him, Dark Pulse, Water Shuriken, and Spikes is a suggestion. Dig, Ice Beam, U-Turn, Hydro Pump. Okay, so um, yeah, remember guys, we also have these two tutor tokens, which I can use to teach different things, different moves. Let's see, like what could we teach the talents? Okay, I can't learn any of this stuff. But yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for you guys to hear what last little bits I should teach my boys before we go into fight. Um, maybe I need some more levels on Greninja, though, to get some better moves. So, let's put the Lucky Egg on him. Let's, let's just get him something. Let's, what, what should we get him? I mean, he's got... Let's see, any special type... You know what? We can put him up against some, uh, some, some Psychic Pokemon and hit the Night Slash. Let's see, his attack's still pretty decent, to be fair. It's not bad. Right, let's see if he can just take out this guy with a one-hit. Okay, no, actually, he's really tanky. That probably wasn't a great idea. Water Pulse actually does a heck of a lot to say that it's such a kind of low-power move. Actually, maybe we just go and spam Water Pulse on some Fire Pokemon. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, let us see. You know what? I think I may be able to kill this guy with a switch to Excadrill. Let's see. There we go. And just hit him with a Rock Slide for big damage. He's basically dead. Hit him again. Bang. Another legendary down. What do we get? MXP candy. Mega XP candy? I think if I use that on Greninja, it should give him loads of levels. Let's see. There we go. Level 41. Okay, A level. We'll take it. We will take that. All right, so he should just be able to KO these five Pokemon. Let's see. Water Pulse with it. Almost one bang. Oh, Rob seemed the frog. It's, it's all right. It's too late for him now. It's too late for him to, to, to deal with him. You want to deal with him, mate? If you want to try me, I'll give it you. We don't want substitute, I don't think. All right, let's just keep KOing things. Hello, Roberto. Dude, what is behind you, bro? What is behind? <laughs> bro, it's a house. What is this? I don't you know. See, you can't even see the name of it because it's like so what the massive. Is this? Literally massive. Oh my god. So Greninja, eh? Mm, yeah, frog yeah, man, yeah. Frog man. Frogman. You said frog, it didn't click to me that you were going for Greninja. I think he's sick, dude. I'm, that's a good call, man. Yeah. Nice. 
Yeah. Yeah, Greninja's Greninja's. Good calls really only cool. in this house. He Good just looks a bit cool, of luck. Man. Yeah, I was I was gonna say he, he he's a ninja. Yeah. He's, he's legit. Yeah, he's literally a ninja. It's awesome. Do, what is that Pokemon? Oh, Dragonite. <laughs> it's like, so what? Okay, buddy. No, he, he changed his, his Dragonite name to Dragonite. Nice. <laughs> uh, boy, oh boy. How are you oh, coming man. along? Are you gonna be ready, ready soon? Dude, Offline honestly, left episode. Um, dude, my, my leveling is going really well, man. Like I started with this guy at like level five, and he's level fifty-two now. It's he's he's making serious moves because he's really resourceful. This guy, like he literally can kill pretty much any of these Pokemon in like a one one shot. Yeah, that's the key. Just, yeah, it, it makes leveling real. Like anything I run into, I'm just like boom, one shot. Uh, once he got to that point. Uh, by the way, I saw you picked up an M XP candy. What the yes, hell is that? Sir, it's literally just like an XP drop. Like it's just it's, it was a level. It's just a boss drop. What do you put it on? A Pokemon, and it like gives them like an amount of XP. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Yeah. Okay, cool. I I did it. I wasn't sure. Go. I have four PVs filled with items. I don't know what the hell any of them do. Yeah, I, I kind of know that vibe. I've got a lot of, yeah, things that... I'm just I'm just waiting for my, my advisors. They'll let me know with anything there is yeah. worth doing anything if with. Any of, if any of them are working, want to work overtime... Um, all <laughs> oh, hey. Do not help uh, the enemy. <laughs> we uh, take PV dumps one. only here. <laughs> That's that. Look at this. We got a moonstone. We got ally switch. We got wood mail. That's um, cute. You know, let me know. I got raw chicken. Feel like I Thank probably you. don't need that. Anyways, okay. I, I, I like the Blaziken. Respect. Um, oh. Lots of respect. Only thing I have for you is respect. Mm. You know, I can find it literally anywhere. If I, I can, I can lose my phone, my wallet, but I can't lose my respect. Wow, poetic, poetic words from from. That was pretty here. good. That was pretty good. That was actually, that yeah, was actually... that, was, that was pretty, pretty, pretty far. I can't Yo, lie. can someone like, quote that? Like, <laughs> oh, that was actually, that was kind of, that was kind of fire though. <laughs> Next that side, was... Tinder video. <laughs> that was Next time, I lost my phone and my wallet, my house and all my respect. <laughs> That was too good. But yeah, like when when are we when are we we calling training times over? Like I say, we, we can do a little like you know move shuffling at the start of next episode, little like strategizing. Yeah, I have, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do some move stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but in terms of training, I'm I'm good to call it whenever. But you know I what? Wanna, I want to I want to one v one. I would like to one v one your Blaziken. I mean your uh, Greninja. What level is your Blaziken? Uh. Level fifty four now. She's moving. I mean, I mean, you'll you'll lose. You'll lose in the one v one to the Greninja. Like, he's he's the boy. He hasn't really got very good I, moves yet. I guess he, he he do be water and I do be fire. Yeah, so, so it'd be kind of pointless. But you know what? Like, let's let's save let's save like, the battle hype for next time yeah. for all the marbles. So what? You I guess need I didn't more really, time? I didn't really think that one through. I got a little. Uh, yeah, I got a little bit excited. Away. I need more time. Oh, I don't know. How, I don't even know how long I've been recording for an hour. Yeah, it's, we've we've, we've um, been grinding. Time flies on here. I think I think I probably you know could use a, a little bit more time, but um, I feel you, dude. I feel you. Probably you know. I'm, like, I'm just having fun. I'm chilling. I'm grinding. I do warn I you. Kinda... I have a lucky egg, so uh, I, I do be I do be flying up the levels. So you know, the you longer have a lucky I get. Egg. Yeah. What do you mean you have a lucky egg? When how'd you get a lucky a egg? A boss drop, brother. Are you? Do I have a lucky egg in my PB? If you do, haven't... you're down bad. If you do, you're down bad. I mean, my chat, my 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 comment section, and talk about the lucky egg in my. No, PB, I only so... I only got one today. Yeah. Damn, dude, that's crazy. But uh, like, you got a lucky egg. We do be leveling up. What are we are we sticking with that seventy level cap, or are we just saying use your rare candies? What's the vibe? We need to work um... out our rules. Yeah, I think okay. So we'll, let's, let's chat about that really quick, man. Okay. What do you, uh, what do you, what do you, what are you vibing? I don't know. I mean, I, I think I maybe, think, maybe think, we I just use them. Like used. we got them. If we just got them, we, we use them. We have to split them like re relatively evenly. So like, well, how many you've got, having, you just split like, them. Having a max level is pretty good. Like. But then yeah. again, I, I think like if you, if we got more rare candies, we should have the advantage. Of that, we don't know who. I, who got I will. More. I will absolutely not have enough rare candies to level up everyone to seventy. I think I might. I can. I can tell you that. How there much do is... I have? Yeah, I easily no have enough. I can get everyone to thirty, a uh, seventy, and some. So okay, maybe we cap it at seventy then. 
like all right or i mean it depends on like how much like i, I don't know how many rare candies do i have i have oh i do have um i used a bunch yeah I've, I've got quite a bit. I almost, I have like three stacks of rare candies actually. Yeah, same. So we both have enough to so, get to 70, so. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah, why don't we just say, you know, do, you know, just do whatever you want to do, man. You're, to be fair, I can't say anything. You're, okay, okay. you have, you have Arceus. So it's like, if you're not going to use Arceus, you can do any rules you want. If you want to make it so that, oh, there's that move, finally. Um, I say, I say we use, we use all our rare candies and what we can do is we can do like level, we can, we can do, we'll do a battle where we've used everything and it's just all in, everything goes down, best of three. Then we'll get the admins to level set a whole party to like level 50, we'll do a rematch. So if we were the same levels, who'd win? And then, nice, yeah. yeah. If 50 is a good one too, I like 50's yeah. cute. So I'd say that's what we do, so I'm going to go do that right now then. Divide the all wealth right, and see what happens. I will be Dude. A Okay, alrighty, let's heal all the gang, and let's get them leveled up into the moon. Okay, so we basically have 30 levels to add to each Pokemon, so let's throw him down and let's get it going. Here we go. Oh my goodness, he's flying up. Ooh, Flare Blitz, physical 120, 120, 100. Um, yeah, we probably want that over Fire Fang, I think. Now he's looking, now he's looking like the business. Okay, let's get, let's get everyone to 75 and then we'll, I mean, actually we're going to get everyone to 80 and then see. Yeah, actually you can probably get everyone to like 82. Oh my goodness. This guy looking like a tank. All right, that is one strong, strong boy. All right, the mammoth swine, your turn to level. I don't know if we'll learn much along the way. Thrash. We probably... Do we want Thrash over Giga Impact? 150 for a 90. Uh, you know what? I think I will take Thrash just as like a last resort kind of kind of vibe. Oh, leveling up on this boy right now. Okay, he's 83 now. Venusaur, your turn. Solar Beam. We do indeed... Solar Beam, 120, 100... You know, Solar Beam, but then he has to recover next turn. So maybe... Maybe we get rid of... Maybe we get rid of Takedown. I don't know. In fact, I'm, we'll be able to go to a move reliner at the start of next episode. So if you guys want to see anything a little differently, you can just let me know. Let's get this guy all the way up. Greninja on the way up. Double team. Nope. Hydro Pump. Yes, we do want Hydro Pump on him. Um, probably want to get rid of Night Slash. I don't know. It's like a riskier move. Yeah, I mean, again, again, you guys can let me know if we need to change anything around here. You know what, actually, I'll probably take Night Slash. Uh, actually, no, he doesn't. No, he's, he's more of a special attacker, so let's, let's, let me just check that. Stats. Yeah, his special attack is significantly higher. So we'll keep leveling him up. You know, we can actually go higher with everyone. And we have one more rare candy. Who's our favorite boy in the squad? Right now, you know what? It's going to be, it's going to be, we'll put the extra level on Excadrill. This guy's a goat. Look at him. He can go to 92. Bang, we love that. We are pretty much ready to rock and roll. What's up, man? All right, my rare candies are applied. Wait, I'm ready, really? dude. I'm taking. Wait, what? What? Are we fighting? What are you talking about? Well, we're ready. We're ready. Like, like this is. You know, if you want some extra time, you have a little bit of extra time. But I'm, I'm ready to, to get yeah, we're on. We're fighting in this episode. No, no, next episode. But I'm saying, like, yeah, oh. we end this episode. All things ready. Oh, you end the you episode know. when you guys end the episode. I'm gonna take my episode. I'm gonna go a little bit. You know. You know what? <clears throat> I'm a little. I'm working. Okay, okay. You do your you do your work and I'm happy with where my squad's at. But if I if I come on in half an hour and you're still on here, there'll be words did you, did to be had. Did you just had. get all your Pokemon up to level 100? Like Le level 90-ish. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, feels good, man. Yeah. So uh, I had to, I had to I used my po my some of the, my rare candies last episode. Yeah. And uh, I used what 16 of them and I'm not getting back 8 of them, so that's a feels bad. So hopefully I can 
get my guys. What the hell? Oh my god, dude! What is? Just okay. a Pokemon um, party around here. Yeah, I'm not gonna be. I'm, I'm not gonna be much longer. I promise. Uh, I'm just gonna chuck. Well, on yeah. No, you like do your thing. Yeah, you do your thanks. thing. Good luck. Good luck. And I will see you for our big battle next episode, my friend. Sounds good, dude. Alrighty, so we are pretty much set. Like I said, if you guys want to jump on the server, you can do. Um, let me know what I need to be doing with all these berries and items. I think, yeah, we'll put... Uh, in fact, we, we, do we need any more speed on the Greninja? Maybe the Choice Band isn't a vibe. Maybe I'll just put a Focus Sash on him. I think, like, this kind of item loadout is going to be pretty good. I think you need, like, Lunar Moves or something to put that on. Um, so, I don't know what these berries do. Should I just put one on a Pokemon and just see what happens? Just throw them on stuff. Let's see. What happens if I give you this berry? I don't even know. I guess it changes like his 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 EVs or something. Um, but yeah, the squad is ready. Like I said, you guys have seen all the TMs we've got. We've got these berries, extra items. We've got the Dragon Gem. We've got the Dubious Disc. Um, we got uh, Silver Powder. we got an Ability Capsule. I don't know if that's that useful on any of my Pokemon. I'll go through the abilities, actually. Let's see. So ability powers up fire moves when the Pokemon is in trouble. Keeps up the Pokemon from being infatuated or falling for taunts. Powers up grass type moves when the Pokemon is in trouble. Boosts certain moves power in a sandstorm. Powers up water type moves when the Pokemon is in trouble. Lowers the opposing Pokemon's attack stat. Okay, so those are our abilities. Let me know if I need to use an ability capsule on anyone. Let me know if you think these items are good. And also um, any moves that we may need to change. So let's see moves. We've got these. We've got this. We've got this. I definitely think this guy needs to learn some different stuff. This and this. Now, one set of moves, I'll be able to... Uh, I'll be able to... So, one move, I'll be able to learn from the move um, tutors with my two tutor tokens as well. So, basically, if there's one move that you can have on any of those Pokemon, let me know what it would be. And we will go into battle strong and confident next time. Thank you all for tuning in. Um, hop on the server, try it out if you're interested. And I'll see you all next time. Peace out.